Okay, so here you go again. I've got my next guideline summary up for you. And this is the guideline on herpes simplex virus. Um, this video is a little bit different in, in, in that there I've got two guidelines summarized for you um, in this particular video. So the herpes simplex virus is type 1 and type 2. Both are 50% um, common. Um, and their incidence. The first and second trimester, that's until 27 weeks. Um, and if it's a primary lesion, then acyclovir 400 milligrams TDS is recommended for five days. Um, acyclovir can cause transient neonatal neutropenia. From 36 weeks, acyclovir 400 milligrams TDS is recommended until delivery. And if um, there are lesions in the third trimester, um, then acyclovir 400 milligrams TDS for five days is recommended again. C-section is recommended if this has happened within six weeks of delivery or there is primary in the third trimester. So primary herpes, um, there is neonatal transmission of 41%. 15% um, of primary episodes are actually recurrent. Um, if it's recurrent herpes, then um, the neonatal transmission is only 0 to 3%. Um, and from 36 weeks, um, acyclovir is recommended, 400 milligrams TDS. Um, if, if at the onset of labour lesions are noted, um, then a swab should be taken. Um, a primary, if it's primary, so C-section is recommended. If for whatever reason the child delivery is opted for, then IV acyclovir 5 milligrams per kilo, 8 hourly is given. And um, to, the, to the neonate, 20 mils per kilo, 8 hourly is um, given. Right, so here we go. This is the second guideline now. This is titled the female genital mutilation. Um, again, one of the favourites from um, the exam point of view. And um, here we go again, where I show um, share with you um, my summary notes. So firstly, it's the different types of FGM, which is type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Um, type 1 is partial or total removal of the clitoris and the purpose. Um, it's called the clitoridectomy. Type 2 is partial or total removal of the clitoris and labia minora, with or without excision of the labia majora, termed as excision. Type 3 is a narrowing of vaginal um, orifice with creation of a covering seal by cutting and position, uh, positioning the labia minora and or labia majora. It's termed infibulation. Type 4 is piercing, picking, um, incising, scraping, cauterization um, to, to the female genitals. So there's several short-term complications like the hemorrhage, uh, urinary retention, genital swelling, long-term like scarring, keloid, epidermoid, inclusion cyst, sebaceous cyst, neuroma of the clitoris. Um, other complications like the urinary tract, you can um, they can get urinary tract infections, strictures, obstruction, dyspareunia, apareunia, impaired sexual sexual function, psychological um, sequelae like uh, flashbacks, menstrual difficulties, um, genital infections and PID, HIV, um, Hep B and Hep C, um, because um, of the conditions that these procedures can sometimes be performed in. Okay, so if FGM is confirmed, then report to the police within a month. If FGM is suspected, then social services or the police, that risk assessment needs to be done. Um, record maternal history on the Red Book. Um, if it's baby girl, then notify the child protection midwife to inform the GP and the health visitor. And deinfibrillation can be done at any time, periop, antenatal, um, at the time of delivery, um, Thanks a lot for listening and if you do like this video um, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos.